Here we go, welcome back. This is the third video in our series on how to put together the Growers Solution Quonset Greenhouse. Tonight, we're putting our plastic on. We're excited to show it to you. Let's get to it. Let's show you how to put this end wall plastic on. Now, the very first thing I want you to do before putting on this end wall plastic is to do something with this wiggle wire channel here where it comes right down over the hip board. And the reason is, is this is a potential area for it to rip through the plastic. It's really the only spot on the entire greenhouse that's got a potential rip hazard right here. So I've got some uh, duct tape here, some white duct tape, and I'm just gonna go over the edge of this piece of wiggle wire channel right here to make sure it never rips the plastic. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go down inside the channel because you want that wiggle wire to come all the way to the end. So I'm gonna go inside the channel and wrap it over the end the best that I can, like that. Now, of course, when you're putting this greenhouse plastic on, whether it's by yourself or with a friend, you want a dead calm day. And that's because it will take off on you really quick if there's just a little bit of wind. So when you pull up your end walls, you want to start in the center at the top. So we're gonna pull it up the ladder and start with our wiggle wire channel right up there, right in the middle. Now to help us hold it, we've just got some asphalt blocks down here at the bottom. Once we get it up and that first piece of wiggle wire in at the top, we're gonna to utilize some quick clamps to help us hold it on the end of the bow right there. So when you get your plastic up to the top, you're gonna to put that piece of wiggle wire in the channel. Don't put it in all the way because we're gonna to need to adjust it back and forth just a little bit. Once I get everything done up here, I'll take it down around the side and show you exactly how that wiggle wire goes in the channel. Now if you're putting this on by yourself, you can use the creases, the folds in the plastic itself to help you align it in the vertical direction. There's also some printed numbers on there and you can use those for alignment as well. Kind of nice. Now don't worry if it's a little bit loose because it will tighten up when it gets cooler at night. So if it's a tiny bit loose during the day, especially if you're doing it in the hot sun, then no worries, but get it the best you possibly can. Things are going really smooth here with just one person and a couple of quick clamps and some blocks to hold that plastic in place. Let's show you how to put that wiggle wire channel in. So here's the shape of the wire. That's why they call it wiggle wire because what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the end in the channel like that and then we're gonna wiggle back and forth and just put each one of these bumps right in the channel like that and that's gonna lock the plastic in place. So this wiggle wire is gonna to need to get trimmed in certain places like right here. That's no big deal. So you can see how tight it's pulling here on that duct tape. Make sure you get that duct tape on that end of that channel or it's gonna to start to rip it a little bit right there. Like I mentioned earlier, you wanna leave a little bit for adjustment beyond where your wiggle wire channel is. So cut four or five, six inches away from where it is in the channel, and that'll give you the ability to move it around in the future if you need to. So that's how you put the end wall on. It's really easy. Now we're gonna move on to the other end and then pull the big sheet over the top. But it got dark on me really, really quick tonight, so we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back. We got the other plastic on the other end wall. We got our door in this side and you can see the other plastic that we did just a few seconds ago, but it was yesterday for us. Anyway, the door on the other side, I'm going to leave for a different video because that's very, very specific and I want you to see all those steps in how to do that. But now I've got to get the plastic over the top. I've got it laid out over here and it is potentially a one-man job, but I'm gonna have two people do it. I'm gonna ask my wife to help me. Now it's a nice calm day and it probably wouldn't be impossible for me to do this by myself, but we've got two straight weeks of rain coming and this has to get done now or it's not gonna happen. And I'm gonna get even more washout on my, uh, 
on my base from that crazy sandy topsoil that I have. So we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna tie some water bottles on some strings on the corners and in the center. We're gonna throw those over and pull it over. And then we're gonna use the wiggle wire to put it in the channels. I'll show you how to do that. Let's get going. Well, it's as simple as it sounds. Just find a corner of the plastic. We're gonna bunch it up here and we are going to tie it so that we can throw our bottle over. We've got our bottle tied right here. We can throw our bottle over and pull that plastic all the way over the top of the greenhouse. We're gonna do one at each end and then one in the center. All right, I've got the crew outside to help me and all three of us are going to attempt to pull this over. Although, uh, little Ariel, I don't know if she's that strong, but she wants to help, which is cool. We're gonna pull it over and then we're gonna center it and make it even on the top of the greenhouse. Then I'm gonna get up on the ladder and start putting in that wiggle wire channel while they hold it down. No, it shouldn't, there's no sharp edges. You're doing good, Ariel. Put that wiggle wire in the channel. You know how to do that? No. Okay, just hold it then. So I'm gonna have my wife start to pull on it a little bit and so we can even out this edge. And I'm gonna go up on the ladder and put a piece of wiggle wire channel right in the center. So here's a place you're probably gonna need some help as well is holding the plastic down, even if there's a light breeze. But the advantage of somebody pulling the plastic is it gets it nice and tight on the sides. Okay, we got everything stabilized to a point where I can take it from here and finish the rest by myself. Big thanks to my wife for coming out and helping me and my little one, but she already disappeared because it is so hot out here right now. Anyway, let me get back to it and you'll get back to your studying, huh? <laughs> She's shy on camera. All right, let's go guys. So we've got all of our greenhouse plastic on and all the wiggle wire is in the channels. Everything's pulled tight and even. Now it's time to trim the plastic and put on our roll-up sides. And the pipe for the roll-up sides will sit on top of that bottom baseboard just like that. There's going to be a strap that comes from the hip forward over top of the uh, pipe right here for the roll-up side and it'll screw into the baseboard. We're going to leave a few inches of the pipe sticking out of the end of the greenhouse. That's going to accommodate our handle. You can leave four, five, six inches, really doesn't matter. What we're going to do next is we're going to cut the plastic. We've got a lot here left on the bottom and we're going to use the bottom of the baseboard as our guide. That extra plastic will be just enough to wrap up and around our pipe and put our clamps on for roll up sides. So each pipe has a crimped end and an open end, and the handles will not fit in the crimped end. So you're going to need to cut off a portion of the end of your last pipe. For us, we cut off actually about eight inches so it didn't stick out too far on the other side. And we're gonna secure each pipe with one of the self-tapping tech screws that they give you. So now that we have our greenhouse plastic cut at the bottom and our pipe assembled, we need to secure it to the side. And we're gonna use the webbing, the nylon webbing or strapping that comes with the kit. We're also gonna use one and a quarter inch exterior screws and some washers. Poke through our screw through our webbing and secure it right under the wiggle wire channel. We're gonna measure all the way to the bottom of the baseboard and cut off our webbing. We're also gonna make a fold in that. That keeps the webbing much stronger where you puncture it with the, uh, with the screw. Pull it down as tight as you can and secure it into the baseboard. Make sure the plastic is pulled up, of course. Do that all the way down the side, one piece of strap for each bow. The very next thing you're gonna do is insert your handle here, your roll up handle into the end of the pipe. What you're gonna do is you want these facing outward away from the greenhouse and you're gonna use a self-tapping screw to drill through both of these to secure it. The very next thing to do is secure your plastic to your pipe here for the roll up side. And we're gonna do that with these aluminum clips. Pull your plastic nice and tight 
not so tight that you're pulling the pipe off the bottom of the baseboard here, or off the top of the baseboard, but pull it nice and snug so there's no slack. It looks good, and we're just gonna push them on there. Just like that. We're gonna do that the whole way down, and then we're gonna show you how to make a strap to hold the handle up at the top. All right, now that we've got our roll-up side working here, and rolled up to the top, we need something to hold the handle. So we've got a piece of the strapping right here. It is at least a minimum of two feet long, and that is to come out and catch your handle on the roll-up side and prevent it from rolling back down. Just do the exact same thing that you did with the webbing or strapping on the side. Use a washer and an exterior screw and screw it right into the end of that hip board. Do one on the other side for a little added extra security. Well, there you go. That's how you put the plastic on and construct the roll-up sides for this Grower Solution Quonset Greenhouse. Hey, I want to remind everybody that if you go in the description below, you can find the link to Grower Solution and also a coupon code that they generously gave us for our subscribers only. It's 10% off everything that they have except for shade cloth. So everything, including a greenhouse, 10% off. I think that's really cool and I'm thankful for them for that. So as always, if you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments section below. And on the next video, we will show you how to install a Larson Easy Hang door on the greenhouse. There's a couple of little tricks. It's pretty simple. It's an easy hang, but there's a few tricks you should know. We love you. Now go check out this video right here, which is the first in the series on how to build this greenhouse. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.